work done in this past year. My name is Lindsay Klinger reporting to you live from Abbey Road in London. And I'm Peyton Ishman coming to you from our remote studio in Seattle. Lately in our classes we've been seeing some unfamiliar faces, student teachers. These brave adventurers travel far and wide to come to teach here and our anchor Jonas ventures out to attempt contact. Hi everyone. My name is Jonas Parson reporting for, the, uh, for BASD TV 21 regarding the strange phenomena known as student teachers. I managed to get a few of them to interview. Hi everybody, I'm Ms. Finch. I'm a student teacher under Ms. Easterbrook from Clarion University. Uh, Ms. Finch, where yes. did you go to school? Uh, so I went to Riverside High School when I was in grade school up until senior year, so that was a really long time. And then I went to Clarion University afterwards. Uh, hi, my name is Callie Polka, or you can call me Miss Polka. I graduated from Red Bank Valley High School in 2017, and I'm, I'm currently at Clarion University, ready to graduate in May. Uh, I went to Dubois Area High School. I'm a graduate of there. I now study at Clarion University. Um, I originally went to Slippery Rock, but I transferred. I changed degrees to education. Um, Clarion has a really good program. I uh, had some friends in the program, really passionate about history, and that's why I chose uh, education. I was originally a safety management major. Uh, I had other friends in that major, um, but I switched. I found teaching to be my true passion. So, so I had many good teachers involving, like even science, social studies, etc. And I really wanted to make a difference in kids' lives, and uh, thought it would be interesting to be exposed to different high school experiences as well. I always loved English class. I love to read. I love to write. So I see a lot of kids take that for granted and they just don't like reading or writing. So I want to teach kids how to be, how to be smart and be literate. Like smart is power. Smart is power. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite part of teaching so far? Probably most definitely the kids. I've met a lot of kids with good personalities. They, a lot of them make my day. They, they're good humored. They remind me of myself when I was a teenager. I have a little cousin that's in their grade now, so they remind me of like my little cousin. Uh, is this easier or harder than you thought, like starting out? It's easier and harder at the same time. Um, I think it's easier in the fact that I was very nervous about getting in front of students at first and actually teaching, but once I started doing it, I find it pretty easy now. Fascinating. Thank you all for coming on this journey with me, Jonas Parson. Have a good day. Wonderful. We wish them all the best as they continue through their careers. As some of you may have noticed, our operatives Tate and Colton have been secretly getting classified information from complete strangers in the halls. Keep an eye out for some friendly faces as we send it to our men on the ground. So if there was a penguin that walked through the door wearing a sombrero, why do you think he'd be here and what is his purpose? <laughs> why would he be here? Probably telling us that the spring and summer seasons are going to be great. The weather is the weather has broke and we'll get back to normal here very very quickly. Sounds good. <laughs> Okay, so a penguin, a penguin walks through the door right now wearing a sombrero. Why is he here and what is his purpose? He's probably here for Taco Tuesday and his purpose is to entertain the children. Phenomenal answer. So a penguin walks in with a sombrero on right now. What is he doing and what is his purpose? He's going on vacation to Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah. thank you. So a penguin walks through the door right now with a sombrero on. What is his purpose and why is he here? His purpose has to be to get all of the chimichangas to take them to the North Pole. Because we don't have them down there. Very creative answer. So a penguin walks into the room right now with a sombrero on. Why is he here and what is his purpose? He is here to celebrate Cinco de Mayo and to give me tacos. Perfect. All right, so Penguin walks through the door with a sombrero on. What is his purpose and why is he here? He's looking for a good time. Uh, his purpose is to just 
meet some other people who are ready to have a good time. Anything else? No, that's all. Tacos or anything? Maybe some tacos. Snow cone? Maybe. Never know. So a penguin walks into the room right now wearing a sombrero. What is his purpose and why is he here? He's bringing me tacos from the North Pole. Anything else? He's wishing that he had the Mexico hot weather instead of the cold northern weather. I feel that. Fascinating responses. I can't wait to hear other questions too. As many of you know, we at BASD have had two fun Fridays. This new tradition is fantastic and entertaining, but to see where it all started, we have to go to the source. Colton, take it away. This past Friday, Brookville High School hosted a fun Friday for the end of the third nine weeks. Mr. Gordon tells the story to Tate Lindermuth. Who all can participate in Fun Friday? Well, Fun Friday is for uh, every student, grades 7 through 12, and uh, you know, we have a lot of options throughout the building. If a student was failing one or more class, uh, we provided them an opportunity for academic recovery since the end of the nine weeks is, uh, is here. So we wanted to make sure that kids had that one last chance to kind of get their grades up and you know, hopefully pass for the third nine weeks. It's about fun. You know, we, we think about all the adversity that we faced as a tribe over this past year and you know, we've, we've, been, we've had our hands tied. We really wanted to put some effort into making sure that we could do some fun things and still abide by CDC guidelines and Department of Health guidelines. And uh, I think we pulled it off. So um, looking across the building, there's a lot of activities that range from athletic activities to uh, academic activities to just personal interests. Now, how is Fun Friday working this, this whole week? Uh, so students had the opportunity to sign up for their top three choices on the activities that they wanted to participate in. And then uh, from there, we, we created lists for each activity. And then today, since it's a condensed schedule, uh, the first three periods of the day, um, students spent that time in their selected activity. Sounds great. Is there any chance of possibly this happening again in the future? Absolutely. Um, you know, it's one of those things that we made it work despite all of the uh, uh, restrictions that we face with uh, the coronavirus. and. You know, if anything, we're, we're kind of wishing that we had done this sooner. Is there anything else about Fun Friday that you would like to include? You know, I'm just really proud of uh, our teachers and the effort that they put into offering some really neat activities for the students. I'm proud of our students. And, you know, we had a lot of students that this uh, motivation is what got them to uh, succeed in the classroom. And so just to see their hard work pay off and having the opportunity to reward them. And I'm also proud of the students that are doing academic recovery now. And you know, putting in that extra effort just to, you know, just to uh, make themselves successful. So, Kenny, what did you do today on Fun Day Friday? Um, I got my grades up. Were you a part of the academic uh, retention kids? I was. I sat in Mr. Poshpistle's room and worked hard all day on my laptop trying to get make up all my missing work. Do you think it was a very productive day for you today? It was. Would you like another one of these? It, I would. Warren Corbett, what did you do today for Fun Day Friday? Uh, I went to Mr. Murdoch's room and I played paper football. H how do you think that went? Was it fun? It was fun. It was a fun time, but uh, unfortunately I lost in the first round of the tournament, but that's all right. I had fun. Would you like to see another one of these in coming weeks? or? Personally, I'd love to see another one of these. It was a fantastic, fabulous, great time. And with that said, I certainly hope to see one of these again in the future. Colton Lyons, TV21, thank you. Well, that looks like all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the hallways, BASD. Make sure, you, make sure to tune in and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on more fun content like this. Have a fantastic Blue Raider day.